Welcome to the Just Bake channel. This is the channel where we do things and say stuff. Lil Mattress here, recapping this Ultimate Madness 3 tournament. Next battle up, Jack Boy Main versus T-Top. This was one of those where Jack Boy needed to put on a performance. And what he did was put on a performance. It was a beautiful thing because Jack Boy has been through some things with the chain getting tossed in the crowd, all that shit. So it was kind of getting down to it for him with sink and swim of you got to prove that, hey, man, you still belong here or you got to walk away, win or lose. You know, you can still put on a good performance and perhaps not walk away with the win, but still earn that respect. He was on the edge of perhaps not battling again, probably, in my opinion. Um, of course, I have no inside info. I think there was a good chance that if Jack Boy Main's battles kept going how they were going, we weren't going to see much more of him. But, man, he came out and he showed and proved, and both of these rappers did great. Both of these battlers did their thing. So here we go, man. Round one, Jack Boy Main was focused. From the beginning, he was focused. Jack Boy goes left. There's always some odd bars. He had Kirby bars. He had Care Bear bars. T-Top, known as the bear, is so unfortunate because then <laughs> everybody who battles him goes OD completely with the bear bars. But so he did the same shit too. Jack Boy is really unorthodox with the way that he puts words together. And I think that's what makes him special. But I think if that doesn't hit with a the crowd, then it goes downhill fast. But all, all this stuff seemed to have hit with the crowd tonight. But he had, he had a lot of good bars in there. He like, I rap better, man. I clap better. He like, I trap better. That sound like map treasure. And the tracker got the app set up. So, you know, like he, a lot of multis that, that, that were really dope. So first it's shoot, then a suit, then a death at a funeral, because that's pressure. Like he's, the, the he, he uses the multis really well in his shit, you know? But Jack Boy, he was definitely on his job in the first round. Extension after extension after extension. I was popping clips. Then my bitch left me because she asked me what I was doing. I told her, dropping dick. Weird to me, as I'm sure you could probably tell I'm not from the hood. Live, li live there for a while, but calling a gun extension a dick is weird to me. I'll just say that, all right? And Jack Boy also rhymes words that people usually wouldn't rhyme. So it gives his shit a, uh, uh, um, a different flavor to it. But he rhymed tea tree, kiki, key, key, and hee hee with a Michael Jackson bar. But he said Coke instead of Pepsi. So that was a little thing I picked up on where it was dope. But it was, yeah, it was uh, Pepsi burnt up Michael Jackson, not Coke. Jack Boy had a cool double entendre, you know, peace, y'all, I'm out of here. Then the peace blow, it's out of here. You know, he had, he had some dope shit. So round one, Jack Boy was definitely back on his shit. He didn't stumble. He had all of his stuff memorized. And the preparation is key, like everybody knows, because unfortunately in some of these battles, there was not the proper preparation put in and people were choking left and right. But both of these cats in this battle, T-Top and Jack Boy, they both came prepared and I really do appreciate. So T-Top in the first round, Brings up the chain, getting thrown into the crowd. He had a lot of Jack's references with the phone, spinning back on a Jack, you know, old school phone bars. He kept talking about how Jack Boy retired after the whole chain incident. He said, you dropped the ball, then picked up the pieces. Now you playing Jack's old school game, Jack's, if you don't know about it. Then he had some weird bars, T-Top, about snowman and i know he was referring to ice on a chain but uh the jack frost bars and melon and the carrots still being left there and it was it was okay it was just it, it was a stretch one thing t-top does better than anybody is simple bars that hit hard and he had a lot of simple bars about talking about how since jack boy claims that he's a blood he should have already been to cali this shouldn't be his first time out there t-top brings up how he got smacked the haymaker weed deal T-Top brings up that he sells a whole bunch of drugs. That's kind of pretty much every battle. T-Top kind of did the thing that Jerry West did where he started rapping about himself a lot. And I know that T-Top does that a lot, especially with, with the drug references and shit like that. But I kind of wish he would rap more about Jack because that's, especially in the, and I understand that it's tough to switch up in these battles because in these battles, you have to rap about your opponent more than anything else. These Battles are tough because you got to try to do what the judges want, and it's tough to everybody that advanced to round two. Maybe they have a little bit of a better understanding of what the judges want, but in the first one, it definitely is tough. T top 
rapped a whole bunch about how he sells drugs. He flipped Jack Boy's Ficky Ficky rhymes with the Mickey and just the, the, the odd rhyming schemes that you really wouldn't rap too much. But both of these cats came out in the first round and did their thing. Second round, Jack Boy talking about how T-Top didn't fight in the whole situation with Mook and Briz. Still more bare bars about in the stream and Jack Boy, once again, his flow makes all of his raps so much better than they would be. And a lot of it is that presentation. It's you could write the best bars in the world, but if you can't spit them correctly, they're not going to sound any good. Jack Boy has flow for days. The way that he puts it together, like I said, it's unorthodox. It's like a boxer with the left hand. It's just, it's James Brown, Sex Machine, Mary J, Y'all I Need, 38, Fear Baby, George Clinton, The Dog and Me. Like when he went off on his whole James Brown, Sex Machine, Mary J, Y'all I Need, 38, Fear Baby, George Clinton, The Dog and Me. When he was swinging like that, it felt good, you know? It's entertaining as well as he's dropping bars, so that was dope. I'm stupid, dumb, retarded, and a lot more. I usually don't, so I'm shooting as soon as my elevator at the top floor. Just the way he put the words together made it made it right, and that's obviously the whole fucking thing about battle rap, the way you gotta put it together, but it's just like selling anything else. The way you package it together and put it out as a product. Bitch made bitch ways gossip queen sell out and that inner bitch in you seeping trying to get the hell out. Like he, he had he had some bars, man. The way that he was putting the words together were definitely on point. Like I said, once again, Jack Boy, super on point, had his stuff prepared, had everything memorized, and T-Top did as well. Like I said, man, I, I really appreciate that. T-Top started off the second round with a gambling scheme talking about uh, Jack on the face cards and haven't seen, I'm a, you know, he, he was doing his thing going in with that. Like I said, schemes are cool if they work and, and th this was once again i would say a, a medium scheme uh don't be a menace to your son grow faster than like the there should be bars that you should just not be able to say anymore you know there, there should be cut off shit like the don't be a menace because your son's growing faster than you bars they're just they're old they're over and i get it Perhaps there's fans. Perhaps I've just been watching Battle Rap too long. You know what I mean? Perhaps it's just one of those things where I've heard too many of them. So I'm like, yeah, I've heard that before, heard that before. But that Don't Be a Menace bar is old, 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 old. T Top, stop with the act like you're out here shaving white. You jumped in the crowd at Gnome 9 and smacked damn near had to save your life. Once again, going back to the chain situation where the chain got tossed in the crowd and Jack Boy. Lost all focus after that, and he was talking shit to people in the crowd, almost fought some people. Yeah, it, it was a thing. T-Top did have a couple of nice bars where he put together with the multi. Paraphrasing here, of course, but I ain't flashy gat neither. I'm a sig tucker, raise weapons like Faith Evans. I'm a big fucker. Only reason you made it to this round, you a dick sucker. You won't be here back next Friday, Chris Tucker. Uh, he had a water boy buoyancy line that just was fucking garbage. Also... T-Top had a press nine for customer service line, which is just, once again, those are two, two, just those, everyone has always said those for way, way, way too long, and they don't do nothing. Um, still, once again, though, T-Top, round two, he had all of his shit memorized, he didn't stumble, he did his thing, just a couple of, like I said, man, bars that we've heard too, too, too many times before. Like, if I, another, if I ever hear a fucking Lion King bar, which I can't believe that Battle Rap... And like, like, if you ever watched the movie Lion King, you would never be like, every battle rapper ever is going to rap about the Lion King. Round three, Jack Boy back with a whole bunch of bear lines as well. Too many bear lines. Too many bear lines. Smokey the bear line. He had a build a bear line. Had a pretty disrespectful bar about, because I guess uh, T-Top's last name is Bryant. So talking about the chopper. And it was a Kobe Bryant line. And uh I don't think anybody's ever going to be comfortable with those. I don't think anyone's ever going to really respect those bars because everybody loved Kobe. So rapping about that is just, I don't think it's ever going to get over with anybody, you know? Jack Boy, once again, the devil's home. It's extra lit. Horns on a bitch. Maleficent, I'm catching it, etching it, stretch it. You know, he was in there like that. Uh, pour gas up on the bear and revving it. Once again, bear lines, but that was more of a creative bear line. So you got to give him, give him that one because out of all the bear lines, some of the bear lines are going to be good. Some of them are going to be okay. There he goes. I sense the bear, pheromones, shit like that. Whole lot of bear lines. Once again, Jack Boy had his shit together. Jack Boy was on point with all of his stuff. No stumbles, no nothing, going crazy. I definitely wanted to hear what he had to say at the end because he was going into some Kim Kardashian, uh, who are you? Chloe, Kim, whoever the fucking girls' names are, but he was still cooking and he got cut off in the third round. But 
Man, he did his thing. T-Top's third round starts it off with weird shit about bragging how his phone was tapped by the FBI. Once again, I don't understand it. It's just not for me the whole, I was selling drugs and I got caught selling drugs and I did jail. T- like the, the whole thing is to do it and not get caught. But regardless, he it's one of his, you know, Kutra Mars is one of his thing. T-Top had a hot bar about comparing the Tech 9 tattoo and Jack's fake chain talking about, oh, you just put anything on your neck. Because, you know, of course, Tech 9 came out as, unfortunately, you know, the whole pedophile situation. T-Top, still, too many bars about the Walmart chain. It's one of those things where I know, of course, you're going to talk about it because it's a big deal in the situation. But, it, unfortunately, it was, I think it was one of those things where it was every round mentioned it. But it is what it is. Talked about, like I said, the Walmart chain. First Lady Flames on the same crew and got a higher ranking than you. Talking about, I just want head flames on Bam Bam Bigelow. Once again, bars we've heard before. It was a good battle with nobody stumbling. Like I said, for for, for me, for T-Top, too many bars that I've heard before. But I'm happy that he came there prepared. He did his thing. But it was good for Jack Boy to kind of like get back in the game. Because T-Top, he's solidified now. He's, in my opinion, always going to be around for as long as he wants to be. People are always going to book T-Top. He does his thing. He's a dope battle rapper. But in this one, Jack Boy was hungry. He needed it, and he came, you know, even more prepared than T-Top and did his thing, and he won it in the end. So good shit for him. Hey, click all the links down below. Do the things. Like, share, subscribe, guns, bushes, bird gang. This is Just Big Channel where we do things and say stuff.